What's up, Falcon fans? This is actually the first time I'm ever actually reacting to something on this channel. So I'm going to react to Falcon's release uh, first dev chart of 2023 NFL preseason by Scott Baer, who wrote this article. So definitely go check it out for yourself. But I think most Falcon fans have already looked at it already. I know I'm a little late to the party, but I just want to give my own personal thoughts about this upcoming preseason first game against Miami Dolphins. So I guess let's just get started right into it about the offense side of the ball. So we start off with the starters. That's not really surprising to us Falcon fans. We clearly knew that Mac Hollins was going to get the right starting side of the ball when it comes to the receiving side. And then Kadarius Hodge. And then, you know, Frank Darby, my boy, hopefully he gets a lot of snaps in the first game. And then you got J.J. Agaride side, who's it's kind of interesting. I didn't know who's going to be on the right side of the position. Then you got Harris. And then, of course, Kyle Pitts is going to be our starter. And I know a lot of Falcon fans want him to transition into the wide receiver position. But for right now, he's our starter tight end. And then Parker Hesse is the first backup tight end receiving core under Kyle Pitts. I thought he'd be the second backup under Jonu Smith. That's kind of interesting. And then, of course, you got to think about uh, John Fitzpatrick, who's going to get a chance. And then, of course, we got the left tackle, the left guard, the center, the right guard, and the right tackle. We all know the starters. We know most of the backups. Now, obviously, we haven't seen too much of the reserves, but that's why I'm kind of excited to see how they can perform during these preseason games. And now we can take a closer look at our second two tight end sets, and Jonu Smith will be starting in that position. And then under him is Michael Pruitt that we just signed him back. And, of course, last year, he kind of stepped up because of our injuries with Kyle Pitts and all that Kupalava, but I'm happy he gets the backup role, not reserve. Then you got Tucker Fisk. I hope that's how you say my boy name correctly I don't know I don't want to butcher it much as I already have and then this is pretty interesting so on the wide receiver starting list on the left side they kind of mix them together on the slot position so Drake London then Josh Alley and then Slay Bolden and Xavier Malcolm are going to be on that side for the left side of the wide receiver then for you know the slant receivers Scotty Miller Penny Hart and then Matt Sexton they're going to be part of that category of course our starting quarterback is Desmond Ritter there's no question about it and then Taylor Heineke is our backup guy and then the reserve is Logan Woodside and now let's talk about the running back situation because I think that's pretty interesting now they're going to give the starting job to CP and I think that's the right thing to do because he's been longer in the NFL he knows the system from the Atlanta Falcons and I think this is pretty much his last season with us anyways so why not go out with a bang in that sense and then they got Tyler Algier who I think you can really argue he could be the starter as well because what he did in his rookie season with over 1,000 rushing yards you know for a fifth round running back that's pretty impressive and then you know a lot of people are kind of confused on why Bijan Robinson is not starting for us well I think we just want to get him settled in with the NFL you know give them a little bit comfortable understanding how you know uh, NFL football works than the college football but you know so far in training camp he looking really good but I don't think it's that much of a big idea could you want to give him you know a, even a chance to work those reps to make sure that when he does commit into the starting position role he'll be all good and dandy so I don't think it's too much in stock over this I think he will start in week one against the Carolina Panthers so I'm not putting too much stock on that of course, let's not forget about Washington and Goodwin, who are the reserve running backs. But now let's talk about the defensive side of the ball, because I think that's very fascinating. Obviously, what's interesting to me is that Timothy Horn is going to be in the D-line behind uh, number 97. And then, you know, Tycron Graham is going to be the backup, not in the reserve, because, you know, he broke his leg or, or tore something. I can't remember. I think it was either the Panthers game or Bears game. It was one of those games uh, that ended his season. And then you got Calais Campbell that I didn't think would be starting starting this early in the preseason because he kind of got nicked up a little bit or kind of uh, banged up and now we put him in the public but now we reactivated him or something like that so that's interesting because I thought Joe Gonzano would definitely get a, a chance to showcase what he's all about and I'm personally rooting for his success because as a fellow Italiano, we got to stick together. So hopefully for that. And Zach Harrison, I thought it was kind of interesting they put him the D-line, not the outside um, type of uh, play scrimmage. But we'll see how that works. And then, of course, what's really interesting that they got Bud Dupree starting over Lorenzo Carter. That was kind of shocking to me because I thought Carter did a pretty good job in his first year with the Atlanta Falcons. So that's pretty interesting. And then, you know, Caden Ellis and then Troy Anderson are going to start and then Malik Walker 
that's pretty much a given because he was kind of, you know, up and down, up and down. And then Nate Lentman, that's kind of interesting because I know he had a pretty good preseason, his rookie season. And also, I know he didn't get too much playing time in his rookie season besides that one game against Seattle where he had the most snaps counts, if I recall. And then, you know, this is also pretty interesting. You know, Arnold Epicady finally getting a starting role. Um, that's pretty cool. Then Okandeji, this might be his make it or break it season with us because if he doesn't, you know, do some type of flashy numbers, he's just not going to make the roster. And then, you know, uh, D'Angelo Malone, obviously a reserve guy. I think he could definitely, you know, you know, get into that second spot. But then we got, you know, the corner position in AJ Terrell. That's a given. And then we got Cornell Armstrong. That's pretty interesting, even though I know a lot of Falcon fans weren't too happy with him. But me personally, I thought he came in with the situation with AJ Terrell and Casey Hayward. Both went down and he had to step up. Yes, in the Bengal game, he did get shredded a lot, but he also made a couple plays. And after that, he kind of slowly but surely got a lot better for us. So I'm pretty happy about that. And then we got the other two corners I have no idea who they are so I'm definitely excited to see what they can produce and then we got the safeties you know strong and free safety we all know what they can do so I'm not too worried about that but I did hear a lot of noise about Micah Ampernanthi making some really good plays including a pick or two so I'm happy about that because I talked about him in a couple other videos so now let's talk about the corner nickel slot position that's pretty interesting and D Alford that's pretty good good for him my cues and then Clark Phillip the third is in the reserve Reserve list, and that's a very smart thing to do because we don't want to re-aggravate his injuries. And then let's talk about the corners on the right side. Now, Jeff Okuda is a surprise to me because I know it wasn't a serious injury he got a couple of days ago, but it was still an injury, and I thought they would give him oh, maybe one preseason game to recover, but apparently not um, at this point. So I guess he's going to start um, against the Miami Dolphins pretty interesting and then they got you know Trey Flowers now I thought they're gonna give Flowers the chance to you know to really settle down with the number ones but hey you know what I'm not the guy who's making this and then they got Darren Hall who played a lot in the nickel position and the right side for the past two seasons so that's pretty interesting to me and now let's quickly go over the special team units when it comes to the kick returns and punt returns and it's very interesting that Mike Hughes got starting on the punt returns because I thought it would either be Scotty Miller or Penny Hart because that's where you got Penny Hart for from Seattle and then you got you know CP at the kick returner guy and I'm actually kind of surprised that there's no backup for him pretty interesting but it looks like that's pretty much it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys did hit that like button if you guys hate this type of content hit that dislike button we'll hurt your boy's feelings well maybe just a little bit but also you want to do a huge favor for your boy by hitting that subscribe button it will help out the empire grow tremendously I'm really just excited to see Falcon football again regardless if we win or lose this preseason it really doesn't matter to me but <laughs> on that note if you guys lasted this long to the very end of the video, thank you so much for taking your own personal time and day to watch this video. I love making Falcon content for you guys. If you guys like to watch more videos, they're right here on the top of the screen. So, what do Falcons do? Rise up. Until the next episode, show love and peace to the world, and peace.